Yes, you know this is happening. Derek yes. Sante, we are going to break down Star Wars. Yes. And I just, I love, I love. Yes, this is my, this is my, my at home. This is where I just, with a little tea, I just, I just wear this to kind of relax. You, you've got the force. I do have the force. But first we have to talk about, uh, maybe. And that's the correct sound. The cat. It, it, that is the What's correct it? sound. It's the screechy noise oh, of cats, no. unfortunately. What? Cats, which a lot of people love on Broadway, and if you if yes. you love it, it will carry over. Okay. But at the same time, it is also a fever dream of director Tom Hooper because as you watch all of this insanity, you're you're trying to enjoy it, but at the same time, uh, you are just you know going this is weird and crazy at the same time. So kids are gonna like it. I mean, okay. everyone who loves this, the song Memories is gonna like sure, it as course. well. Um, but you have to be kind of a hardcore fan of Cats. There's a reason it's getting a really, really low rating. Mm -hmm. It's just because it's just weird. So I'm this sorry. isn't going to play to the average person who hasn't seen Cats on no. Broadway, isn't into Broadway. No. Maybe, I mean, Taylor Swift said she's, what, a feral cat? She's is a feral cat, but Taylor Swift really a small part in it. So she's oh. not even, like, the main person. So that's something you have to realize, too. There's some, some fun parts and some fun songs, just like the Broadway show. Uh -huh. But at the same time, there are some things that we could just, you know, avoid altogether. And and this movie might be one of it's them. It's in the litter box. Yes. Cats in the Me litter ouch. box. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, another big one. Uncut Gems. Now, this is with Adam Sandler. And this is I one that he, he's up for an Oscar. He's really pushing for an Oscar award. Uh, you know, just to simply put it, he uh, is uh, a guy who is uh, kind of uh, making deals and trying to... Uh, uh, I'll always be the guy who wins at the end. Unfortunately, he is a gambler that doesn't know when to quit. And because of that, it's just a frenetic movie and it's a lot of fun. So if you're in for something a little more dramatic, a little more suspenseful, this is a great film for you. Okay, not a family film, but no. for the adults. Okay, no. getting away, sneaking away on Christmas. Correct. Maybe this is the right one. Okay, Correct. and now the one we are all waiting for. Star Wars, yes. And you know what, that's funny. You make those noises because on the set, they had the actors had to be told not to make noises when they do stuff. <laughs> So they're they're doing that. They're doing sounds like no. We're gonna add that in post. Don't make those noises oh, anymore. Oh, that's great. Right, because we've been doing this since we were children. As you should. And that's the problem. So have they. And this movie, you know, the problem is it's good but not great. And there's a lot of fans out there who are already not a, not happy about it. Uh, it is a two-hour movie that should have been a three-hour movie, but the problem is you make it three hours, little kids can't go. Right. They can't stay still for that long. I can't stay so, still that long. <laughs> and that's and that's some of the issues. You know, this is a movie, this is a movie made by money. You know, has J.J. Abrams, who's great at kind of reviving and making great films, but there's just so much to encompass when it comes to all these films that no way anyone's going to be happy. Um, truthfully, it felt a little flat at times too. There are some answers, some fun things that happened. You know, at the end we had so many things that happened in the last film, so we're carry on from that. But overall, it's just a film that you know. If you're going to see it, you're going to see it anyways. It, no, right. no, nothing's going to stop you. Whatever I say is not going to stop. People already have their tickets planned, whether they saw it last night or whether they're going to go during Christmas Eve just, or Christmas Day. So basically, it just fell short a little bit of it expectation. It just fell short a little bit. You know, it's still going to be a fun film, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be the all-encompassing thing we want to end ourselves with. The force is not as strong with this one as the other ones. Oh, zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. yes. Okay, all right. So, well, that gives us a good idea. It's going to be a busy, busy weekend at the it is going to be a very busy. There's so many films, and it's going to be a lot of options for people. So there's a lot of cartoons and great things out there too. So just you know, if you have a chance, go check out the theater. Have a fun time after if you need to de decompress after the family. You perfect know thing it. to do. Okay, Derek Sante has got all the great information on our website. Great reviews, rubbing elbows yeah. with all the stars and the and R two D two and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, we're going to play with these. <laughs> As you should. We'll let you take it over.